Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93, part 24 in yellow. In the last episode, we had a lot of trainer battles we had to take care of. I got all those trainer battles out of the way, and in this episode, we're going to finally get into Fuchsia City. As you see, they've got like a little display. It was supposed to be like a zoo or something at the very back here. There's a lot of trees you have to supposed to cut down, but there's a back way you can go around all of that. Alright, so I'm just going to be buying some items because I ran low of items after all those chair battles. I need to buy some more. Alright, I stocked up pretty well, I think, so... What the hell? Okay, I don't know what the hell that was. And Rom's being glitchy again. Go figure. Alright, so over here, this is the Safari Zone. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to join the hunt? Yes, please. We only use a special Pokeball here. The Safari Ball. We get 30 of them. We'll call you on the PA when you run out of time or Safari Balls. Alright. You get 500 steps in the Safari Zone. You either run out of time by taking 500 steps or you run out of time if you run out of Safari Balls. Now there are some there's a lot of items um a lot of items around here that you can find. I just passed the item right there, but there's another one right here. Full store is nice. The trick is that you want to find some of the most of the items. Wow, Tauros. I think those are pretty rare, but I'm not here to catch, I'm here to find items, okay? Another item down there. Most people spend one trip in the Safari Zone just to get items and then they sp Wow, a Scyther! Run into all these rare Pokemon. Okay, the trick is- Oh my god, what do you want? One down. Oh, Rhyhorn, okay. A little bit more common. The trick is that most people spend one trip in the Safari Zone just to hunt for items, and then the second trip is for catching Pokemon. Since I already have all my team members, it's not like there's a certain Pokemon in here that I want to catch, so I'm just in here to get items. Another Nidoran, you don't care. Now, is something over here? Any items? I don't see anything. Oh crap, I think I just wasted valuable time in a dead end over here, okay. Hope that doesn't screw me over. Execute. Yeah, there's a good variety of Pokemon that are in here that you can catch if you need a good Pokemon. What's this? TM40. That's cool. I'll check what it is later. Another Rhyhorn. One hundred forty four steps left. Protein, that's nice. We hope one hundred and forty four steps is enough. One hundred steps, okay. I might have enough time left. Right here. Yes, you need that. That's the gold teeth. You're going to need that in a second. TM32. 
But what's really important is that you get to this house right here. This is what you want to go to. Ah, finally! You were the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. We get HM03, which is awesome. Now let's check what these TMs are. TM40. Oh, Skull Bash, okay. Might teach that to somebody, not sure yet. Double team. I'll toss that. It's worthless. HMO3 Surf. Awesome. We're gonna get rid of Bubble Beam and teach that to Vaporeon. That's going to be its signature move now. Alright, let's get out of here. I don't think we have enough time to do anything else, such as looking for other items, so yeah, this is dead end down here. I think the timer is going to ding any second now. Oh, called it. Ding dong, time's up. Your safari game is over. You lost the game. No, I won the game. Now, what you want to do is with the gold teeth that you picked up in here, it's important that you give it to this person in one of these houses down here. He's the Safari Warden, or whatever it's called. And he gives you a really valuable item if you exchange the gold teeth. Mox gave the gold teeth to the Warden. The warning popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one can understand a word I was saying. I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble. And we get HM04. So we're getting a lot of HMs now. HM04 is strength. And I guess we can give that to Primeape, I guess. We can give it a primate and get rid of focus energy. And a prime example of using strength can be done immediately. Use strength, move the boulder out of the way, and there's a rare candy. So, you get a prize on top of the prize. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going back to Celadon. Alright, here we are back in Celadon City. And, well, I was thinking if I should take on Koga, or if I should do something else first. And I noticed my team is still a little bit underleveled to fight Koga. So, what we're going to do is as follows. The vending machine. You're going to want to buy one of these drinks again. Trust me on this. You want to buy one of these drinks. Once you get out of here, that's all you got to do is just buy one of those drinks. Doesn't matter which one you do. We're going to go over to Saffron City. Yeah, we're not going to fight Koga first. We're going to Saffron, but in order to get to Saffron, you have to have one of those drinks with you so you can tell the guard to get the fuck out. Go through here. Whoa, boy, I'm parched. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go through. I'll share this with other guards. Alright, so give him the drink. Otherwise, if he did not have one of those drinks with you, he would not let you pass. And now we're in Saffron City. 
Uh, a lot of heavy shit is going down inside the city right now. Go into this house. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. TM29! Uh, I do believe that is Psychic. I'm not going to give that to Kadabra since he can learn Psychic by leveling up, but it's still a nice TM to move. A TM to have, I should say. And now we're going to go into... Silk Company Office Building. I love this music. Team Rocket has taken over the Silk Company office building and we must rescue the president. Warning! Shitload of trainer battles await you because this place has like 10 or 11 floors and Team Rockets are waiting on each floor. I'm not kidding, man. So, another dilemma I have is since there are so many battles coming up, if I was to go regular speed, it might take me four episodes just to get to top floor or something. I'm not kidding. So, I might have to just do uh, hyper speed next time again. I know I'm getting tired of doing these hyper speed episodes where I just have to go really fast and like speed up the video by 200%, but. I got no other choice in these situations because I don't want to spend 3-4 videos on one topic, such as the Sylph Company being taken over. Put yourself in your confusion. Come on, Sanchez. But I'm afraid that's what I'm going to have to do in the next episode is speed it up again and take out all these rockets. You fail. Hyperfang failed. Alright, so take out the Raticate. I goofed. You done goofed. I backtraced it. No kids are allowed here. Oh really? If no kids were allowed, then how come I'm I'm here and like you're just letting me walk by? What do you think if this was a crim criminal organization or something, and they saw a kid in here, wouldn't they just like shoot him or something? It's like, oh god, there's a kid in here. Kids aren't allowed. Let's battle him with Pokemon and see our asses get kicked. Ooh, don't kill club. Live, 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 live. Okay, good. Use Ember. Alright, see. Level 36 for Charmeleon. We all know what happens when Charmeleon hit level 36. The animation for Surf in this game is just so weird, but it's nostalgic, so I love it. Sanchez is evolving! Epic. We get Charizard! That's cool. So now our entire team is fully evolved with the exception of Kadabra not being able to evolve since you can't trade or nothing. Well, I guess that's it for this episode of Trainer Battle, though not want to get into that. So, talk to Sam, he's happy. Mock signing out. See you guys later.